Hey guys and girls, welcome back to YYC Designs Custom RC Creations. First off, I'd like to apologize to y'all for not getting a video out to you in the last 10 days. I did have to take some time off to get some house chores done, needed a few repairs before winter set in, and I kind of thought I had some time before that was going to happen, but wrong. It snowed here last week, We're, we got more last night, and it looks like we have us a very early fall here in Calgary and hopefully the winter's not going to be too hard but i have my doubts considering that it has gotten this cold this quick it went from high 20s right down to zero centigrade which is 32 to our american brothers and sisters that are watching us all so it got real chilly real quick here i have the fire going in the shop to keep it heated so the wood stove is working hard already and yeah so i had to get the house repairs done and just couldn't help it i had to take some time off to make that happen and i'm also in the middle of reorganizing the shop so it turned out to be a big schmoz because i was counting on another month worth of good weather and it just didn't happen anyway we do have a new video coming out for y'all now and it's going to be a root beer video so let's have a look and hope you enjoy it We are playing with some more root beer today because I just love root beer. I love Coke better, but root beer does in a pinch. As you can see, we are fitting final panels here. So, of course, these are the side engine panels, which will fit on so, yeah, with that little tab fitting right underneath the corner of the hood when it's in final position. So... With the front cowl panel, once it's welded in place, you can well imagine how that's going to work. So now I am forming the front fenders, which will fit onto the side panel thus. And while I cannot do all of this even two-handed, it gives you an idea how things are going to go. So. I'm going to try and hold this while I move it up on the camera for you. So basically, there is what we're going to have is, whoops, now i got to get around the bumper. Hang on just a sec with me, guys and girls. I'm trying to get you a view of what this is going to look like when it's on. So, it'll be something like that, yeah? And, oh, how am I going to get your front view? There we go. So it'll be something so with the cab already. And then the running boards, of course, will come in behind here. I've got it sitting up on the vise and a little unbalanced, a little hard for you all to see, basically because I'm dealing with lots of little pieces I'm putting together as a puzzle here. We're also working on the shock mounts and the four link mounts yeah so same as what i did with voodoo just got to drill the holes in them yet and they will get welded onto the frame where they need to be so been making those been making the fenders here's basically the left front fender okay got to shape it yet so it goes from this which is uh, 22 gauge steel and becomes a front fender okay obviously it's not finished yet completely but it basically becomes the front fender which will by the way mount right here at the bottom of the post and will rest along the side engine mount side engine mount or side engine panel sorry the side engine panel here fits in 
just underneath the cowl so underneath the hood and attaches to the frame just in front of the shock mount so if you ever want to or need to get to the shocks then you pull the side engine cover off okay a couple little screws are going to hold that in place and you have full access to where the motor will be some of the electronics the shocks and the front end of course the hood will also lift and of course you access through the cab all of which will be removable so that you can pull the panels off and get access to everything yeah and hopefully we'll have some fun with root beer here today I know I will and I hope you all will and we'll just keep continue on, continuing on and getting things done So my lo local squirrel that lives in my yard here is giving me shit for being out in the shop, I guess. I can't quite see what he's barking at, so I think perhaps it's me. But anyway, through the magic of Clecos. Clecos are a little pin-like device when you use the special pliers. You can uh, put your Cleco in your pliers as soon as I can do this one-handed here you put your Clecos in your pliers and I don't know if you can see this on the camera very well or not but the end spreads apart okay and it basically works like this grabs the panel and helps you put two panels together so through the magic of Clecos I can now show you what root beer is going to look like kind of sort of when she's all done so that's the engine side panel and fender on not permanently in place yet but it's on with the front grill shroud and there would be the front of the vehicle so it gives you a kind of sort of idea of what she's going to look like yeah so it's taken quite a while I had to redo the engine side panels I made them a little bit short originally so that's what's taken so long here uh, today is making the engine side panels and the fenders they take in between about uh, oh two and a half and three hours to do them both for one side well for both sides it's fairly quick I guess but it does take a long time as far as trying to get a video out in one day for y'all so as you can see though we've got a little bit of a fitment issue here so I'm probably gonna have to redo the hood or maybe when I do put it together I can like get it to line up better by shortening the grill up a bit here and bringing it closer in which is likely what I'm going to do because quite honestly I think it's uh, sticking out a little bit far here anyway for a 1929 diamond Rio it it should be it should be sucked in a little closer to the bumper so what I will do is I will end up trimming down here that will pull the front shroud in the grill and the rad support by the way all in one I still have to cut the grill out of course and uh, it will pull that in closer give my hood the distance it needs to be able to reach the cowl panel at the back here and thus put the hinge in it so everything's coming along fairly nicely it's just these little details do take a long time and then we'll get on to fitting the side panels here and the doors then we can just start having fun and bolting her together but we are getting down to the tedious little stuff like the shock mounts here and the four link mounts I have to make another four like this uh, like I say they're exactly the same as what I did with Voodoo just put a hole in them and of course weld them on where my thumb is and the mount goes in at the top I will see if I can find you one of the links that we have I have made here so this is one of the links I have made for root beer so it will go in so and then link up if it were a shock it'll just come in from the top and of course it'll mount into where 
the side shock mounts are here yet. Okay, well I have four more of these to make. I uh, also want to introduce my new surprise. I think you might have noticed that perhaps my voice has changed, mostly because I now have a new microphone, which now I no longer have to yell at the camera to get y'all to hear me out here in the shop with uh, all the noise and so on that goes on. And you can actually hear my real voice for a change. Now, basically these are the half inch square tube one eighth thick wall and i've just cut a side out of them exactly the same as i had done on voodoo yeah so the beauty of these things is you can lay them two ways on the frame i can either mount them i can either mount them like so and weld along this bottom edge or Conversely, I can mount them like so, round off both edges so that nothing catches. And I have one here that is done like that. There we go. And I can round off both edges on it. And that way nothing catches. And I can mount it flat. And I can actually mount from either direction or both directions. So I can mount coming in this way or coming in this way or both and that way I can have a double mounting point with these. So this is my whole point of doing these this way and why the half inch square tubing comes in so handy that way. So I shall move ahead and make four more of these because uh, of four link mounts for the suspension. So I will continue on with those and we will keep just having a good time playing with Root Beer right here today. and show you and give you an idea of what root beer will look like. I'm going to try and give you a straight on shot here. So that's, the fenders of course will be flat and level. I mean they're only held on with those Clecos, yeah. It's not like they are being held on with uh, the rivets yet. As you can see there's a big gap down there in the bottom of the fender right there. And so yeah, it's just, it does give you a rough idea of what she'll look like with her fenders. Her bumper, front bumper is a little too wide. It will get clipped off to the level of the fenders and of course the front grille. So it gives you a, really a nice idea of what she looks like anyway. Got to put her cabs in. Of course, I've got to cut out her windshield here yet but she is coming along rather nicely. So I'm just getting ready to do a final assembly of her body panels, and then I can start adding in the shock mounts and the four link, the four link mounts, and her suspension can start getting added, as well as her diffs when they arrive. Uh, here in Canada, we are already in the throes of a possible postal strike and the mail has already slowed down drastically at least in our neighborhood i've got a notice of delay on the differentials for root beer but they will get here in time and when they do we'll just continue on but anyway this at least gives you a nice idea of what root beer will take shape like and begin to look like 
when she is finally done. So she is 19 and a half inches overall length right now. Pull out the tape here and give you a little view of that. So there she is at 19 inches, 19 and a half inches. And with fenders, she is seven inches wide. So looks like I've melted my tape measure. I just noticed it's uh, eh, not the greatest, yeah? <laughs> Might be time for a new tape measure, I'm thinking. Might have to go out and splurge and find myself a new tape measure. I go through a lot of them on here because I accidentally set them down on something hot and damn it if I don't melt through the tapes. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I'm pretty hard on tape measures. But so that is a very good look at root beer as she's sitting now and it gives you a very good idea of what she will look like. So yet to build on her, I've got the front doors and uh, the cowl panels here which will also come in to the cowl panel in the top, which will adjoin to this and hide and give the hood the proper length. I've got to refit the front grille here. She needs to be notched a little further and fit a little bit better. But that sort of thing happens. That's all part of the final tune-up with assembly. So at least now I can start cleaning up the panels and getting them ready for primer and, well, final assembly first but to be honest with you I leave them in pieces uh, as you saw them earlier in the clip the fenders is one piece the engine panels is one piece I leave it all in the little pieces then I do the prep work then it all gets primed and then it gets riveted it gets a second prime in a base color primer and then it will get its rather nice final paint job and that way it gives it a really good paint job that's just well it's a, it's as good as a car that you buy a, to drive yourself i mean it's a replica it deserves just as good a paint job and it gets it so i, I guess what i'm trying to say it gets a professional paint job that you would put on your family car is is what you'll what you'll end up with on root beer as well i just noticed as you can see like i've got little things to clean up like i've got to clean up the windshield area here after i cut it out and all that but anyway my point was is i paint e i prime each individual piece separately thereby great rust prevention and i never have an issue with that and then the frame gets all done on its own the frame gets a powder coat in uh, a base black or if uh, the owner wants it i will do a powder coat in the root beer color instead of a black frame the front bumpers never were chrome on the diamond t the front and rear bumpers so they get painted the same same color as the body and actually that's what the uh, owner of this particular model wanted anyway the cab of course is not sitting perfectly straight because it isn't tied down yet but you know what i mean all of those pieces get painted separately and that way i never have a worry about rust and uh then i assemble them i i meant to say primed separately sorry uh they all get primed separately they get one coat and then i assemble them with the rivets and attach all the pieces that are going to be attached to each other and then they get a second primer coat then they're sanded and then they get their final paint coat i've also got to make the uh, hood hinges and a lot of little bits so unfortunately this stuff does take time and you don't get to see the the vast amounts of progress that you, you that you were seeing earlier on in the model but that's the beauty of it it's it's getting down to the final stages and it it doesn't move along quickly but the problem is is you, you just can't see all these little bits you know like i i show you the shock mounts and that sort of thing and you know eight of them takes couple three hours to make to make them look good and then you got to weld them on and then of course there's all the cleanup of that and there's just a gazillion little pieces like that you guys know by by building you're uh, out of the 
your your models that you're buying you know how many pieces are involved well it's no different in this there's just as many pieces involved only i have to hand make them they're not stamped by some machine or extruded with plastic crap uh so yeah that's where we're at right now so i will continue on unfortunately that's as far as i got on root beer and it's mainly because i wanted to get this video out to you here tonight it's saturday so i do hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend and i hope you enjoyed the video i want to thank you all for your support as always we are up to 43 subscribers now so i know we're not a huge channel but we do appreciate each and every one of you and thank you for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't and we will talk to you in the next video enjoy the rest of your weekend guys and girls I'm Twist with YYC Designs, Custom RC Creations. Be good. Bye-bye.